ladies and gentlemen, friends and colleagues, thank you for being here. Um, it's a special day for me, it's my birthday. So it's great to have an audience that big to hear about my research topic. Usually it's not that, uh, I guess, popular. Um, the idea that we'll try to convey today is uh, the simple idea that was uh, coined by the city of Dresden, Eastern Germany, by the name Cargo Tram. What they did uh, in that city, uh, you can see top left, uh, an example of uh, the cargo tram, is basically um, take uh, the, the Volkswagen factory uses that tramway to carry their car parts from one side of the city where the uh, transfer hub is to the other part of the city where the assembly plant is. And that is, of course, to reduce trucking, to reduce uh, local air emission, and it was in response to some uh, citizen, uh, citizen opposition to, to their factory uh, plant. If you take that idea, make it, make it a bit more complex and uh, blow it up to a regional level, what you need is uh, different transfer hubs at the outskirts of the city or, or of the region in which goods can come by freight, uh, long, distance, uh, long distance train, sorry, uh, trucking or boat, be transferred into these uh, so-called uh, streetcar, cargo tram vehicle, and then carried along uh, commercial arterials into the city core to be delivered to shops or whatever there is a need for. Amsterdam had that idea. Uh, it's the city that came the closest to actually implementing it. In 2007, there was a, a plan, um, a pilot project that was run uh, to show that it was possible. Unfortunately, political support was not there enough, and uh, economical downturn make, it, make the project uh, died. However, uh, it's not completely crazy. People are thinking about it. Electrifying a goods movement is, is the future, really. And, um, you know, some conservative economist thinker might tell you, well, it's never going to happen, it's not feasible, economically trucking is so efficient. I say, okay, maybe right now you're right. But in the future, with increasing population density, uh, gas prices, traffic, air pollution, then that becomes really interesting. And that's what's happening in Europe. They have these conditions in a more acute uh, way than we are here. The same people might as well tell you, well, these Amsterdam transportation planners just spend way too much time in coffee shops, and, you know, it's never going to happen. Well, maybe they're dreaming, but if it's dreaming about a transportation mode that allows transportation uh, for goods to be done efficiently, clean, with no tailpipe emission, and uh, faster than regular trucking does, well, why not? What does it lead to? Vancouver is just start starting to think about a downtown plan uh, and a streetcar plan, maybe for the region. The idea is coming up. I think we should plan ahead and really think right now what we need to plan for in 20, 30, 50 years when the conditions will be right to implement such a system. Thank you.